The Kardashians are known to be style, fashion, and makeup icons. Think of any trend, and you can be sure that the Kardashians or the Jenners have been there, done that. Now they're almost unrecognizable from when they first stepped onto the red carpet. Before we dive in, check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have amazing hacks on how you can change your look. Watch till the end to find their video. Now, here are the times the Kardashians completely changed their look. Kylie's Long Waves to Short Bob When Keeping Up with the Kardashians first started airing, we saw Kylie sporting her natural locks. She kept them long and dark, often curled for events or when stepping out in public. Back when she was only 10 to 12 years old, Kylie wasn't experimenting with her hair just yet. She often wore her hair down with the middle part or side bangs. Once in 2009, she got a full set of bangs and straightened her hair for an edgy look. But fast forward to mid-2009, 2014 and late 2015, and Kylie's chopped it all off. She cut her hair to a more reasonable length for a long bob. The cleaner, more streamlined hairdo is also easier to hide under fun wigs. Kylie's Lip Fillers Take a look at Kylie's old photos and you'll notice something considerably different. Back then, her lips were average, a bit on the thin side, but it definitely looked natural and normal on her face. Kylie said that she's always been insecure about her lips, thinking that guys didn't want to kiss her because of how thin they were. Though she first denied having any lip fillers or plumping done to her lips, she admitted on Keeping Up with the Kardashians that she did have lip fillers put in. She was only 16 years old when she got her first injections. She's recently removed her fillers again, but still overdraws her lips for a plumper look. Kim Goes Blonde Kim Kardashian has undergone a dramatic transformation ever since Keeping Up With The Kardashians aired in 2007. One of her favorite ways to update her look completely is by dyeing her hair blonde. She rocked caramel blonde highlights in 2009 and then a honey blonde in 2012. She's also gone platinum blonde in 2015. Kim Kardashian will do anything to make a statement. To bleach and dye her hair, she's had to sit in the salon for 13 hours. She also bleaches her roots and stages so that they don't get too damaged damaged and break off. The entire process can last days. Kim's Colorful Face Kim has been a lover of makeup ever since she was a young girl. She first started experimenting with makeup when she was only 14 years old. When the public was getting early glimpses of her, Kim would usually be sporting a full face of makeup. She would heavily line her eyes and smoke it out with dark eyeshadow. She was also a fan of shimmery bronzers and a lot of blush. Kim's early looks would also have her looking a bit orange since she would simply apply permatan on her face. Nowadays, Kim ditches the blush and goes for blended contour instead. Chloe's Weight Loss Chloe didn't just change her makeup or hair when she and Lamar Odom divorced in 2016. She started working out and going to the gym until she achieved her revenge body. Chloe says that her weight loss transformation didn't actually start out with weight loss in mind. She was doing it to combat stress and keep her sane during her divorce. Chloe was always insecure about being the biggest and heaviest among her sisters. She stands at 5'10", while Kim and Courtney are just 5'2 and 5 feet tall, respectively. Now, Chloe has slimmed down considerably and often dons cross crop tops and bikinis. Chloe Goes Blonde Chloe added even more to her already dramatic transformation by switching up her hair color. The Kardashians have naturally dark hair, but that doesn't stop them from going completely blonde. Chloe's hair is normally the lightest of all the Kardashian sisters. Her hair is not actually brown, but a dirty blonde. She still looked completely different when she bleached her whole head for a totally blonde look. After all, blondes have more fun. Now, Chloe sports blonde locks so often that it's hard to imagine her with darker hair. Chloe says the dark tones are a thing of the past and that her blonde do makes her feel bright and healthy. Rob's Weight Gain Rob Kardashian, the only son in the Kardashian empire, has always been low-key. He never really stole much of the spotlight, especially away from Kim. But he made headlines when his lean figure suddenly changed. Rob before was slim and even muscular, working out regularly to beef up his bod. He started gaining weight in 2012 following his breakup with Adrian Balon. By 2014, he had gained over 100 pounds. When he started dating Black China, he lost a bit of weight, getting down to 248 pounds. But after after their breakup in 2016, a source says that Rob's back at 300 pounds. Caitlyn Jenner's Transformation One of the biggest changes anyone's done to themselves in the Kardashian family was done by Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn says, There was always this woman that lived inside of me, but I lived my life as Bruce. The former Olympian athlete started her transition in 2015. She began the change with hormones, facial reconstruction, and breast augmentations. She had a sex change in January of 2017. 
Chris goes blonde. Kim and Chloe often go blonde or even platinum blonde. They aren't afraid to bleach their whole head up to their roots for a stunning look. It seems that even Kris Jenner, manager to the Kardashian clan, also had the guts to go blonde. She finally committed to the look in January of this year. Chris took to Instagram to show off her new, almost white hairdo. It wasn't as silvery as Kim's platinum blonde, but more of a warm white blonde. Chris Appleton, hairstylist to all the Kardashians, says his trick to keeping bleached hair healthy is by using a protein treatment called Olaplex. Kim dressed by Kanye. Kim has had many different looks over the years. Paparazzi would often photograph her decked out in loud prints or extremely body-hugging dresses. She was one of the first fans of bodycon dresses that showed off all of her curves. Her style considerably changed once she started dating and married Kanye West. Kanye definitely has a say when it comes to Kim's clothes, and it shows. Now, Kim dresses in mostly neutral colors like white, beige, nude, gray, and black. She still shows off her righteous curves by wearing crop tops, hip-hugging skirts, and barely their bikinis. Kim has moved on from club wear to classy arm candy outfits. Kylie's Little Mermaid Wig Many girls like to experiment with their hair by adding pops of color. The usual go-tos when it comes to hair are purple, pink, blue, and green. But Kylie isn't your usual girl. She chose to completely change her look by channeling a certain Disney princess, Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Kylie posted a selfie on Snapchat wearing a bright cherry red wig. No selfie is complete without Snapchat's dog filter. Kylie paired this pin straight wig with a cleavage bearing off the shoulder top. She really embodied Ariel with this look except her makeup probably won't look as good underwater. Kylie's Highlighter Hair Coachella is a time for celebrities to show off their unique style. The theme is usually centered around the boho chic look, but anything goes in this music festival. The goal is to look good and stand out. Kylie definitely stood out from the crowd when she chose this wig as a part of her Coachella outfit. She posted a photo on Instagram to show off her highlighter hair and aptly put a tennis ball emoji as the caption. The bright neon yellow-green dew made Kylie look simply out of this world. She paired the crazy wig with a gold, shimmery, strappy dress and it was still outshone by her hair. Kim's Colored Lips to Only Nude Kim, as established earlier, was a fan of heavy and dark makeup. She was often spotted with vampy looks and heavy smoky eyes. Kim was photographed in the past wearing super dark berry lipstick. She would also wear bold colors like orange and red. But nowadays, you won't be seeing Kim wearing anything on her lips but a nude shade. Her own line of makeup contains several nude lippies. It goes to show that when Kim finds a look that works, she sticks to it. And since Kanye also prefers a little to no makeup look, the nude lips work. Kylie's braids Kylie just loves experimenting with different wigs and hairstyles, but she decided to switch things up when she went back to donning her natural hair. Just when we were getting used to seeing Kylie with free-flowing waves or straightened locks, she changed it up. This time, she kept it neat by doing her whole head in braids. The young star kept it cool and fuss-free when she attended Coachella by wearing her hair in boxer braids. She added her own style and unique twist to them by dyeing her hair in ombre of pink, aqua, and then blonde. Kim's Fulani Braids Kylie's not the only one who relied on braids for a new look. Kim also did her hair in braids when she attended the MTV Movie and TV Awards this year. Kim walked the carpet wearing Fulani braids that reached all the way to her waist. The braids were very well done, but it still received a lot of backlash. Many called this look of Kim's to be cultural appropriation since she isn't a woman of color wearing Fulani braids. But as Allure writer Danielle Gray says, Kim Kardashian is free to style her hair in any way she so pleases. The real issue is the constant erasure of black women when it comes to beauty. Kim's Bob The Kardashians were usually fans of long, luscious hair. Having a lot of hair to work with can be a hassle, but it allows for so many different looks and styles. Chloe even faked short hair by having her stylist braid and pin it at the back of her head, but Kim decided to keep her look short and sweet by sporting a sleek bob. This look helped her appear younger and less unkempt. Not that Kim ever looked haggard in public, but the sleek straight bob is perfect for Kim's latest looks, which are futuristic and edgy. Maintaining short hair is also better if you're a mom running after three young kids. Kylie's Curves Kylie Jenner hasn't admitted to any sort of plastic surgery, but her photos tell another story. In the past, Kylie wasn't as curvy as her half-sisters Kim and Chloe. Now, Kylie often gets mistaken as Kim or Chloe in her photos. While she may have developed curves in puberty, many are skeptical. Her sister Kendall wasn't as blessed in the boob or butt area as Kylie is, so many speculate that Kylie had some work done. It certainly was a change from her flat-chested days. Now, Kylie shows off her cleavage and curvy hips in swimsuits and midriff-bearing numbers. 
Kylie's summertime collection look. Kylie is known to be a style chameleon changing her look almost every day. You can say that Kylie is a girl who likes to keep people guessing. But with her latest look, people were certainly confused. Kylie recently released her summertime fine makeup collection. She posted several photos on Instagram in anticipation of the release. Even Khloe Kardashian couldn't recognize her. Kylie was wearing orange lips, sharp winged eye with a cut crease and wet blonde hair. Khloe commented jokingly, Khloe, is that you? When did I do this shoot? Kylie had a photo photo of her laying on a pile of bananas and her insane curves reminded everyone of her older Kardashian sister. Kim's post-baby bod When Kim was pregnant with her first daughter, North, she was often sporting loud prints and bright colors. She was also very covered up during her pregnancy, opting for turtlenecks and sweaters. This may be because Kim gained 50 pounds during her pregnancy. Kim never stopped wearing heels, though, even though she was about to pop. No one was expecting Kim to work on getting her post-baby body back in shape so soon. But a mere six months after giving birth to North, Kim was back on the beach in a stark white bikini. This was a complete turnaround from her pregnancy days. Kim's Natural Looks Kim is known to be a beauty and fashion guru. Now that she has her own line of makeup, many would expect Kim to have a full face of product every second of the day. But despite being the face of her own makeup line, Kim also goes for a natural, no-makeup look. After all, this is Kanye's preference, especially when she's at home with the kids. But in October 2016, Kim showed up to one of the biggest events in the world without any makeup. She attended the Balenciaga show in Paris Fashion Week with only moisturizer on. Now this is a change of look that many others can achieve too. Do you want to change up your look as often as the Kardashians change theirs? Then you need to check out Crafty Hackers who have all the latest DIY hacks for changing up your hair, makeup, and style. Check them out for cool ways to update your hairstyle daily, add some flair to your wardrobe, and be on top of the latest beauty trends. Make sure to leave them a like and subscribe. Now, which Kardashian look did you think was the best? Were you surprised at how often the Kardashian and Jenners change their looks? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to The Taco. Thanks for watching.